members, Elizabeth here. I wanted to go over really quickly with you something that is super simple to do, but is super impactful when it comes to your social media marketing on Instagram and how that relates to your website. So I'm sure we've all done this. We have been on someone's Instagram. We click the link in the bio and it pulls us up to their site and some major downfalls and poor poor marketing decisions, I guess you could say, that some of these companies make is the the link that you click through looks nothing like what you are expecting to see or it looks off brand from the Instagram. So my words of advice when you do set this up, make sure that you're creating something that looks like what you're promoting. So for example, if it's you're promoting a certain video or service on your Instagram, make sure that when they click the link in the bio, if you're referring to the link in the bio, it reflects what you're offering. If your Instagram is showing a certain branch of your business, make sure that the link that you click reflects that branch of the business. Or if you're offering a discount, I can't tell you how many times that I've clicked to subscribe or to, for example, a product is launching and I want to be on the email list to be alerted, which is a great idea if this is something that you want to do for your shop and your website. But I click through and there's no way to subscribe. So they lost me as a customer because they made it really difficult for me to figure out where to subscribe. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and quickly create this new page. It'll just be a page on your website that will be not linked, which is here, which means it will not show up in your navigation. So it's going to take four steps, super quick. And then there's a bonus step if you want to remove your navigation in your footer from the page with some code. So first you have to determine, you know, on your Instagram, what you are going to promote. So I am just going to have a link in bio that is going to reflect the website. So I'm going to make a condensed page that reflects my website kind of in a nutshell, because if you think about it, everyone on Instagram is pretty much on their phone, right? So I, if I were to send traffic from Instagram to someone's phone, my site has a lot of information and maybe someone's looking for just a quick rundown. Maybe they just want to subscribe. Maybe they saw my YouTube. So I'm going to make it kind of a condensed version of my website with buttons to allow people to just click and find what they need super quickly. So um, the first step is creating a new page. So we're going to create a blank page here and I'm going to title it Instagram. And if you miss this step here, if you need to retitle it, hit this gear and your page title is here, navigation, which we don't need to worry about, but I would keep it the same in your URL slug. Um, I would even put, make it just a little, um, a little beefier just for that SEO piece. So I'm going to hit save. Now when I go to edit, so I'm going to add a section here and what I'll do just to keep this super short and sweet, I'm going to add a blank and I'm going to add text. So anytime you create a new content section, there's always going to be a text box. Anything else you need to create is on this plus, which has changed recently. Um, but we'll go through that in another video. I'm going to put welcome to bloom. So maybe what I'm offering is a way to subscribe for people to be in the know with new trainings. Let's, let's take that direction because we have to have a purpose for what we're doing, right? We can't just set something up and hope that people respond. I want to have a purpose. So let's, let's say that I'm trying to get people involved in community and understanding that piece and understand our business. So I'm going to put Heading one, I'm going to add a button. So this is where I'm just going to add about five or six buttons to prompt where they need to go. So maybe join community. And then maybe this, oh, and then we have to link the page to go to somewhere, right? So this gear here, you're going to click page and then um, if this was my regular working website, my community web, web page would pop up here and I would select it. But since this is an example site, nothing's popping up because I just have two pages, but this is where I'd select my community. So theoretically, every button that we add is going to be linked to a page in my existing site. So my next button, 
let's do join community services so people can understand what we do button let's uh, let's do subscribe and maybe bloom YouTube channel and then let's give a way to contact so in this instance I'm gonna have someone directly email me I'm gonna make it less steps because if I have them click through to a contact page and then fill out a form. I just feel like that's too many steps. I want to get it to them now. So it's going to be an email to me and I'll add that email in there and then I'll leave the rest of this blank for them to add. Contact Bloom. So if I click on the pencil here, colors, this is where I can adjust the colors. You know, change it to anything that stands out that reflects your branding. Again, you want to make this consistent with your colors in your site. So I have a lot of pastels in here and bright colors. So what I would want to do is I would want to adjust that color palette to look like my page to make sure it's super consistent. So I have all these buttons. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the content width because if you, um, well, maybe that's a little too short just to keep it condensed on the page so it looks neat, nice and tidy. If I click on mobile preview, this is what's gonna pop up, which looks awesome. Now, if you wanna get rid of, you know, your your banner or your title up here, the drop down for navigation, if you wanna keep people just in these succinct buttons that you placed and maybe not even have a footer, you don't wanna confuse people, you don't wanna overwhelm them, give them too much, they're new, they're finally clicking, they're a little bit warm, so you just want to give them just a few things here. What we're going to do is we're going to add some code. So if I hit save here, we're going to go into the settings of the page and we're going to add a code block here. And I will put this in the notes for this walkthrough. But if I go back to here and we're just going to paste it, um, I don't have a plan set up for this type of demo site but if i were to use code and i'm on the most basic plan i would have to upgrade squarespace is very good at telling you where you need to upgrade so don't worry about that it will let you know if you're not able to but you'll just post it there i'm gonna hit cancel because it's not going to let me do it anyway and then that would remove the header and the footer so now that we have the page we have the title which is a step two. Third step is to edit so we just said step one through three already in about five minutes. The next piece that you want to do is your link in bio. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab, so here's my URL slug. So if it's bloomcreativecompany.com slash Instagram Bloom Creative Company, that is going to be a very long URL to put in here because as you can see, it's Bloom Creative Company and then it's the rest of it. If you go here to bit.ly.com, this can uh, shorten your link. So you would just put it here bloomcreativecompany.com slash and then hit shorten and it's going to create that short bitly here that you would just edit your profile stick it in here and now you have your link to your bio to that new page so that is it again you can use this to promote I mean you can put those links in you could use a bitly and create custom pages for all your different kinds of offers so in each post here, you could have a link in bio and have all of your link in bios listed out and each link can go to a different page that you can be really on point with your marketing and make sure that your pages reflect what you're posting about. Let us know if you liked this video. Let us know if we can help in any other way and clarify things. We are here to help you with your site. The whole goal of community is to make sure that you are good to go and your ongoing knowledge is keeping up to date with everything marketing that is going on so your site can keep working hard for you. So let us know if you need any follow-up to this. We have a contact form in your community membership. So let us know. Thank you so much.